I'd like to talk to you about a very special organisation which over the years has helped hundreds of children lead happier, much more independent lives. It's also an organisation with which I have very particular, very special family links. More of that later. The charity is called Meru. Now, it might not be the best known name in Britain, but trust me, the work it does has made the most incredible difference to the lives of many disabled children. Meru does this by designing, developing and making custom-made equipment for youngsters with all sorts of disabilities. Like Emily here, not just to help with getting around, but also for use at home, at school or college, or more importantly, when playing. Mary have made this step for, which means she's virtually independent getting in and out the car. Do you like using it? I like it. Some children, like Reuben, have complex disabilities. He was referred to Meru at the age of five after being provided with a special communication aid called a dynamite. However, because he was blind and had cerebral palsy, Reuben was having great trouble making the dynamite work and using the switches effectively. So we want to turn the arm guide around more of an angle so it's more of a natural lie mm. to where his hand is. You do find it tricky sometimes. Yeah, so it's very important to be able to make it as simple as possible for Rubin because it's, it's hard work using a talker and hard enough to communicate for Rubin anyway. Without Meru, the talker would be useless. Using computer-assisted design technology at these workshops in Epsom in Surrey, Meru's engineers have designed a wide range of specialist equipment. Each solution comes from a specific brief that's decided by the child, their family, the medical professionals and the Meru design team. The result is a solution which is tailor-made for the child. Most of the time children are referred to us by a medical professional that knows them. This can be someone like their occupational therapist or their GP or perhaps somebody connected with the school that they go to. We can be asked to do anything from a PlayStation controller to a feeding aid to something to go in the toilet to something to uh, allow children to go on holiday with their families. Mary can really change the lives of the youngsters we're involved with and sometimes we can actually be saving their lives. I've been Mary's patron for several years now and it means a lot to me because it was my late father Treffer who co-founded the organisation back in 1970 when I was five. He was a consultant orthopaedic surgeon who'd become increasingly frustrated at the lack of specially designed equipment to help disabled children. So, when his friend, the medical engineer Bill Bond, approached him about starting just such an initiative, he leapt at the opportunity. The charity started at Queen Mary's Hospital for Children in Carsholton. Since then, Meru has moved to new premises and expanded to help more and more children each year and the designs have become increasingly innovative as technology has advanced. Meru employs a team of design engineers and also has a dedicated band of skilled volunteers, many of whom can be seen here at an event to celebrate the charity's 35th birthday. Absolutely the best part of this job is handing over the projects that we've made, seeing the look on the children's and the families' faces when we present them with this piece of equipment that they've been looking for for so long. The difference it can make to their lives, that, that makes everything worthwhile. You may know a child or family that lives in London or the South East that could really use Meru's services. If so, please tell them all about Meru. They can find out more on the charity's website. And maybe you're asking yourself, what could you do to help Meru to help more children? Why not consider giving your time? Meru needs volunteers in a wide range of areas from engineering and design to administration and fundraising. You could also provide materials or equipment that Meru can use to manufacture these life-changing solutions. Or, of course, you can make a donation just to help the same number of children that Meru helps at the moment, they need to fundraise over half a million pounds a year. But obviously, it would be fabulous to help more children. Now, sadly, my father died of leukaemia when I was nine, so he never got to see what Meru has become, how it's developed, how it's evolved. But I know he'd be immensely proud to see what he and Bill Bond initiated all those years ago.